right, Happy New Year. The first video for 2021 is actually a video for a bed patient of mine. And it's for all those people as well out there who are struggling with external rotation of the shoulder. Now, this might be you who've had a frozen shoulder, shoulder surgery, or just a simple tendinopathy, and you've lost that range there. Now, in the clinic, we do a lot of external rotation mobilization doing an AP glide using a seat belt like in this video here. Now that video is really, really helpful for clinicians and it's really, really good for doing stuff in the clinic. But what are you gonna do when you go home or you need some homework to get that external rotation? So I've got, I've come up with an exercise for you to do with some bands in the gym. Now what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a pretty solid rig. Okay, if you can do this at home, fantastic. Most of you are gonna be doing this in the gym and you'll need some sort of block. Now I've used our barbell here and I'll show you what this is for in a minute. But I've got a barbell on the front of the rig and I've got bands at the back of the rig. So the first band that's gonna be the seat belt is your big thick wide power band. So that's a pretty grunty one there. And the second band here is your mini power band. So these are both loop bands. So this is one that is gonna be pulling your shoulder back in external rotation. This one is gonna be doing the sort of therapist work, if you like. So what you've gotta try and do is use the bands as the glide and the stretcher and this barbell as a block. So this barbell needs to be sitting up at basically shoulder height or around the sort of height. If I'm gonna be in this position here doing external rotation, I want it blocking my elbow. I'll show you what I mean. If I'm going to put this band on here, okay, I want to come in front of that bar and have that bar blocking me. Now the reason for that is the band is doing an AP glide that way, okay, so we're doing posterior glide of the humerus into the back of the joint, which is what we do with a seat belt in the clinic. Now if I didn't have that block there, then this this back to this hand is just going to sort of wiggle around, the seatbelt's going to come off, that sort of thing. I don't get a pure sort of glide. So this part here is sort of giving me a fulcrum or a leverage into the shoulder joint, which is so nice. Point though, you've got to use something like a foam pad or something on that bar, otherwise it gets a little bit rough on the arm. So unless you're super muscly, put that on, something like that. Maybe you use one of those sleeves that you do when you're doing squats onto the end there, okay? So think of that band doing the AP glide, right? Now I need another band here to pull me back. This is like an internal rotation work, but we're actually using it for a stretch, like a mobilization into external rotation. Remember, we're trying to get external rotation in abduction in that position, all right? So that's where this one's gonna come in super handy. So has to be lighter because I was just gonna wrench it back too far. What I like to do, so you don't have to grip onto it too much, is just flip it around like that, okay? So it's on my wrist, I don't have to worry too much about gripping. Then those two, because they're both the same 41 inch bands, I can come out into that, okay? And there I am. Now if you look where I am, because the barbell sticks out, the beauty about that is this big power band is actually doing a posterolateral glide, which is sort of what I want. I don't want the band going behind me because that's going to sort of jam into the joint. I want it in this position here. Now, I've also got to come forward right to the point where I'm roughly, my elbow is straight out from my shoulder joint, if that makes sense. Now, this part here, this is almost my rest period, okay? So I'm I'm off the external rotation stretch. I'm using my bit of internal rotators, a bit of pec to hold it there, which is sort of like a toning thing. But remember, most of this exercise is a passive stretch this way. So what I'm gonna do is just gently let go into the external rotation and let that wind right back as far as I can go, what I can tolerate, just so I'm not getting to the point where it's getting too sore and see how long I can hold it there for. Now you might start off with 20 seconds, you might start off with 30. This movement here, don't go for too long. Remember, you're gonna get some capsular stuff going in there. You don't wanna be too long to that position. And then you come forward to rest. And wait there, let it settle down. You might wait sort of half the time of the stretch, 10, 20 seconds, and then you go back again. Now you won't need to do too many of these in a set. But this is not like the whole three sets of 10 or anything like that. This is more like 
Let's do three or four, maybe six stretches in one set. Perhaps start off with just two or three to get the hang of it and work on that external rotation. Now, a few things to note. Just be careful. If you're starting to get sort of like pins and needles or anything like that, put it in your hand, all right? If you're starting to get problems here, maybe that band is too much pressure onto your shoulder. You might want to pad out your arm with some, some clothing or a towel or and making sure that it's thick enough. If that's too thin, it's going to cut in too much. But that one is an awesome way for you to sort of replicate what I do in the clinic for homework to try and get that external rotation in abduction, which so many people struggle with because of that impingement. Give it a go. See you next time.